scones with some homemade rhubarb and apple jam. Tis the damn season. Guys, I'm back. I'm back at my Belfast. It feels so weird to be back, especially in my shoulder bedroom. Feels like nothing has changed. I have just been a homebody for the past week. I still have a bunch of Indonesia footage to go through and edit and some projects to finish up, but we are back home for the holidays and dare I say enjoying the colder weather a little bit. It's been nice getting cozy. I've just been wearing pajamas and jumpers and watching movies and chilling and the one thing I will say though is it gets dark at like half two, three. Um, it's getting dark already so it's been kind of hard filming stuff because you have like such a limited window. But what have I been up to? Okay well behind the camera big mess because i have all my london boxes been going through them again just donating stuff that i don't need and selling clothes on depop when i move again i want to make sure that like everything i bring is something that i love and that i need and secondly i'm having a little bit of a style crisis like i don't really know what my style is anymore having lived off a backpack for like six seven months rotating the same tank tops over and over again that did make me realize that i obviously don't need a bunch of things to be able to dress myself but i i don't know i feel like there's only a certain amount of pieces that are sparking joy and the rest just needs to go i can donate and sell so that's what i've been up to just been clearing out my wardrobe kind of unpacking a little settling back in to belfast life um so i hope you don't mind that yeah you're gonna be seeing a bit of Belfast again. One of the best things about being back is having books again and options of what to read. I definitely didn't read as much as I could have whilst I was away just because books are heavy and I don't have a Kindle. I don't really like reading from a Kindle. I mean, I've never, I don't have one, so I've never tried, but I'm kind of against it. Like I like holding a book. I've been rereading Donna Tartt's Secret History. I forgot how much I love this. Oh, reading about them going to the house in the countryside just made me feel some kind of way and I'm only a quarter of the way through and I actually can't really remember what happens at the end aside from the obvious so it's been nice like rediscovering how much I love this. I've also been picking up the pillow book by say Shonagon. I got this last year but I never read it before I left London. It's such a beautiful book. You can kind of like read little bits here and there. It's a collection of thoughts, musings by this 10th century Japanese gentle woman, court woman. It has longer passages like diary entries and then it also has little like lists and it's really comforting reading the words of a woman who lived so many years ago in a culture that I'm such a stranger to and human nature just hasn't really changed. She talks about being disliked by others is really a most distressing thing or men have most peculiar and likely feelings. How extraordinary it is to see a man abandon a truly lovely woman in favour of some unpleasant one. I would definitely recommend this one. It's such a nice balance between prose and poetry. Um, so that is what I've been reading. My mum is making me a patchwork jacket for Christmas and I'm so excited. Look at the fabrics. 
This afternoon, we're going to do a little bit of last minute Christmas shopping. Kesevai invited me to try and take part in their holiday gifting challenge. I have five minutes to go on their site and try and find and customize some presents for loved ones. And I'm seeing two of my best friends next week. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to pick them up a little gift. You guys know that I swear by Kesevai, I never not have one of their cases on my phone. They offer the best protection. They're so durable. First up, we're shopping for my friend Abby. Her phone is actually compatible with what's that? The MagSafe. So I might do one of those and get her name on it. Look how cute. Okay, right. I'm also going to get her one of these phone straps. She loves green, so I think I'm going to add this on. My other friend is Lois and she is such like a unique style. Maybe I might go through the prints because they have so many really nice options. Okay, I kind of love this one. Look what arrived. We have Christmas jumper on because, you know, Christmas presents. But my case of my cases for Lois and Abby Kim. Okay, fun. First up, we have Lois's little teddy bear one. I really hope she loves this, but I feel like the colors and the pattern is really her. And then we have Abby's, which is the MagSafe compatible with the green strap. I don't want to open it, but you can see a little bit of the color. I feel like these pair together is like really upper street. It's actually such a thoughtful and useful present. You're literally giving the gift of keeping your phone or device protected. If you're looking for a gift for a friend or family, I would definitely check out Kissify. To make sure your order arrives before Christmas, you have to purchase before the 8th of December with standard shipping or the 16th with express shipping. I actually have a 15% discount. You can use my link kissify.com slash moya. I'll also leave it in the description. And happy shopping. Merry Christmas. Right. Okay. We're making sweet potato gnocchi tonight for my parents. Since I've been so kind to let me stay here, I thought I should cook them there. Thank mm -hmm. you. 